guys. Move my stuff together. Yeah, I got my hair pulled up. It's like, I am not feeling it today. I'm tired. I'm about to go lay down. For real. Anyway. Let's see. Oh! I'm trying to lose this little pudge, but it's not going nowhere. But I think it will soon. It's, it's going. <laughs> but I have to, like, bend down like this, guys. Seriously, because I'm... Yeah. So, anyway... Thank you guys for tuning in to another vlog for Smart Money Saturday. <sighs> we are almost halfway through October. So the time, next time I see you guys or do a vlog, we will be officially halfway through or over halfway through October. And I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold on. Six days until I pay off student loan number two officially, like actually submit the payment. So I'm so excited about that. Now the issue is, there is this little issue here. My birthday is November 4th and I don't really want to do anything. I'm going to be honest. Like people want to see me, people want to hang out with me and all that, but I don't want to do anything. And I'm going to tell you why. I feel like... If I had my, like, just my dream birthday gift drift uh, trip for myself, whatever, it would be to, like, maybe be out of the country. Like, maybe go to Hawaii or Jamaica or something like that. And because, I mean, let's just think about it, right? Like, on the 19th, I'll be getting, like, a $5,000 something check, right? I, that's more than enough to take myself out, like, to a trip, on a trip, a little trip, or whatever, or on a cruise or whatever. But it's all going to student loans. And I feel like because I'm not where I want to be, like, basically 100% debt-free, I don't really want to celebrate. It's like, what are you celebrating? And I understand. I get it. I'll be turning 30. That's a big milestone in someone's life, especially a woman, I think. But I'm just not where I want to be. So I really don't want to celebrate. I'm just like, you know what? I'll take that day off. Take my, myself and my children out to eat dinner. Go to a movie or something like that. But I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go to North Carolina which is like three hour drive for me. And then it's another three hours to come back. And, you know, I got to get my hair done and get my nails done and my eyebrows and get dressed up. And I, I just don't want to do all that. I just don't. And a part of me feels so bad about it. It's like, I think if I do it, I'm doing it for everybody else. My family, my friends, you know, people who want to see me, but I'm not doing it for me. And I'm not doing that anymore. And I'm not going to bring that mentality with me into 2019 where I'm doing stuff for other people. No. The answer is no. And I think I'm telling that to myself. <laughs> Trying to convince myself because I'm a, I'm a giver. Like, you know, but no, no. Next year, I will be buying me a house. I'll be getting my Mercedes. I can take myself on any trip I want to take myself on. And that's going to be my birthday present for twin, I mean, for 30. Like, year 30 in itself is going to be a great year. And I think that's more important than, you know, celebrating the actual day. If anything, I'll call my mom and my dad and thank them for giving me life, for birthing me. Stuff like that. Like, I just don't, it's just not, I just don't feel, I just want to stay focused. Because at the end of the day, if I go to North Carolina, um, and I'm almost over this little ramble rant thing. I'm almost done. Hold on. If I go to North Carolina, I have to take off that Friday and that Saturday. Well, honestly, that's about $500 I can make it between those two days. Because on Saturdays, I grind, grind, grind. And Sundays, too. But I'll take that Sunday off because that's my actual birthday. So I won't work on that day for sure. But. Uh, so I'm back. Hold on. I'm turning this light on. Okay, yeah. My pony's still, tail still there. But anyway, I'm back. So, I don't know what happened earlier. My phone just went off. So, anyway. I know you guys probably want to know what the total is for this week. Because I've been rambling this whole vlog. But, I just want to kind of make sure you understand that I do have these, like, life issues or crises that are coming up along this journey. Like... You know, if I didn't have to pay off student loan debt, I could just really enjoy life and just do stuff. But 
I think that just speaks to the point that it's a priority to me. It's like probably besides my health and myself and my children, it's like right after that. Because once I'm done with this, there's so much freedom. There's so much I can do. And like I said, I want to buy my house and my Mercedes and, you know, just go get back to filming and producing and writing and, and releasing my book next year. Like there's just so much that I can really focus on after I get through this. So I just don't want anything to deter me. If, yeah, comment, but comment below in the comment section, like what is one thing that you've had to sacrifice this past year that was really important that you sacrificed in order to continue on your debt-free journey. So this week has been pretty good. Um, this week, or it might have been the end of last week, I received an email from the clinical director from the agency, which I have a contract with to do um, sessions in the community, like job number two, basically. Um, and she basically gave me four clients that needed assessments or reassessments. And I was not like expecting that at all. So I don't have my mental health license in Georgia yet. I have it in North Carolina, but not in Georgia. And so I get a get paid a lower rate, but it's still like uh, like three times what I make an hour, which is already pretty high. So, um, well, good. You know what I mean? Like anyway. So once I get my full license here in Georgia, that's gonna go up by like. 50 or 60 dollars so just imagine like oh my gosh but anyway and I love doing assessments I love assessments one of my past jobs that's all I did was assessments um, I did like three of them a day and like that's all I did and I love assessments I love assessing people and diagnosing um but anyway I got four of those unexpectedly so I'm gonna I did two of those Wednesday and then I'll do two um next Wednesday so I'm excited about that that's like an extra let me say I want to say it's about depending on if I get paid for the extra other part it might be about seven to eight hundred dollars extra let's put it that way like which I was not expecting so that's added to my budget so I'm excited about that but anyways for this week my total is two thousand three hundred and eighty dollars now mind you remind you the thirteen hundred dollars that i usually put with this i'm not putting that because in november i'm not adding any money to it from my job number one so this is totally off of job number two so i'm excited making progress guys don't forget to comment below i want you guys to tell me what have you sacrificed so far this year Give me some suggestions. What do you think about my whole birthday situation? I will come. I think I'm going to go and like for Thanksgiving, I'll go or go down to North Carolina. That's the plan. So what do you think? Give me some suggestions. All right, guys. I will see you next time. Let's keep going. <laughs>